Welcome everyone to Peabody Veterans Memorial High School. This is the electronic shop and I'm Dale LaRock and let's take a walk through the shop. As a career and technical program in electronics, we start off with the fundamentals using equipment similar to this. We go through DC first, then AC, and then digital electronics, which is what makes all of our computers and our phones and things like that work. Now that you've learned the fundamentals of electronics, we get into the more advanced things. How do we move this information around? With fiber optics, glass, light, this is a rack that is set up with the help of RCN and their donation to us to help us to teach our students and give them experience on real world equipment. We, as a high school, are the only high school in America or in the world that has a license to train high school students in the curriculum for fiber optic electronics. If I come into that shop and I get involved in fiber optics, what will I be working on? First of all, we have to combine sometimes two pieces of glass fiber. How we do that? Well, we do it using fusion splicers. And what they do is they actually draw an arc and melt the glass together to make it a single piece so that light can flow freely through it. The next two pieces of equipment are reflectometers. And what they do is they send out a pulse of light, just like radar, and look for reflections in connectors or in splices, things of that nature. And it tells you over the length of your fiber, whether it be 10 miles, 50 miles, 100 miles, exactly how the signal is going through, how the light is going through that fiber. The next thing we have is a communication device, and you'd ask yourself, well, if it's only light going through there, how could we talk to each other? Well, these devices here are used to take your voice, turn it into light, pass it over the fiber optic line, and then it receives that fiber optic light, turns it back into electricity, and so that we can hear it. And you talk to your partner over these if you're out in the field. The last one is our visual fault locator. As you can see, the light comes out of the fiber at the end, and the fiber glass is one-tenth the diameter of a hair in your head. These are the tools that if you're in the field that you'll be using, and so when you apply for a job, you'll be snapped up pretty quick because you'll have certification from the best organization in doing that. Another aspect is the ability to take the Pilot Institute class online, which will afford them the ability to take the FAA certificate for 107, which is their pilot's license for drones. That will allow them to do commercial work with drones. This is just part of our fleet of drones, from the smallest Tello to the largest Phantom. The bigger ones can be used for surveying as well as cinematography and topography graphics. These are things that our students, when they graduate, could get jobs in operating these professionally. Another aspect of our program that the seniors will be enjoying will be the computer-aided design. The program we're using is SolidWorks, which is used in industry. After you're done designing it, you can send it over to our MarkForge printers, which are 3D printers, once again used in industry, allowing our students the opportunity when they go on interviews to talk about the experiences they've had here, and it will resonate with their employer, allowing them to possibly and potentially get the job that they're going for. Thank you for joining us on our tour of the electronics department here at Peabody Veterans Memorial High School. I'd like to thank our many sponsors and those that we have yet to work with and thanking them in bringing to your children, the children of Peabody, the opportunities that they can have in their future to get jobs, to be well educated, to even go to college and have that fundamental basis of information 
so that college is a little easier for them. I'm Dale LaRock here at the Peabody Veterans Memorial High School, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.